So it's Andrew here from Home Theatre Engineering. I'm here with Aaron and uh, Aaron uh, uh, and I have been working on his um, uh, theatre room today and we've just finished a calibration on his JVC X5900. 5900, that's right. Yeah. And um, oh, I've got to say I'm really impressed. Uh, Aaron's uh, built a lot of this room himself. Uh, and done a really good job and, and one of the really impressive things about this room is the screen. Uh, Aaron bought a, uh, um, a screen from the States um, or bought the material and has constructed the screen himself and it's a really fine weave, it's acoustically transparent and it looks fantastic so I, I'm, I must say I'm really impressed. The calibration's come up really well, we've done a Rec 709 HD calibration, we've done a 4K UHD HDR BT 2020 calibration um, and we've sort of been going through through his content. Here we are. Uh, and uh, just having a look, and um, the really uh, nice thing about it is a the screen's working super well. It's it's a, a white, I guess effectively a spandex-like material with a black backing on it. He's got a front stage wall. Um, he's got uh, a Crick speakers behind the acoustically transparent screen um, with a nice gap uh, for, uh, for the sound to pass through without any comb filtering. So he's done everything really, really nicely and uh, it, it's a pleasure to be here. So this is Aaron. And um, it was, uh, I thought we'd get a few words from Aaron because I mean, you hear from me a lot, but it's always good to hear from from people who've had a calibration done, and Aaron's a pretty brave guy. Actually, he he also had a had a go at doing the calibration himself using the JVC tool and a spider um, to to measure the calibration. And we had some communication before I came over from WA, um, and uh, so it'd be interesting to to get his comments on on that as well. So uh, first of all, thank you for yeah. inviting me. No, you're welcome. And uh, yeah, tell me your thoughts. Um, obviously. Um, I'm like everyone else in this industry is that, you know, we like to tweak things and we like to play with play with things and we want the best out of our equipment. Um, and when I got the JVC projector at the start, being HDR, I, mean, I was super excited. But when I actually put a HDR signal in there, I was extremely disappointed. Um, and I played and played with it, um, spent hours on AVS forum talking to people and tried, as you said, tried my own calibration. Um, and I thought it was good, mm. but it was always in the back of my mind, I wonder if this could be a bit better, mm. you know. And after seeing certain scenes I've watched before, um, and I even watched, you know, the night before you, you came, and after, it's, it's night and day. It's mm. There's details and things that I've never seen before. Mm. Um, like when we watched Terminator Genesis, you know, in the foreground, all... It was just black before. Mm. Now I can see all the car wreckage and all the bits and pieces of, of all the stones that you never saw before. Mm. And it's just blown me away. Mm. Yeah, I think the interesting thing is a lot of people get HDR a bit confused and they trust, just try to dump light on the screen. Yeah. And Perry, sorry, Perry, um, Aaron um, was with me here whilst we worked through the calibration. So he watched as it developed. And the interesting thing was that um, uh, in his case, there was a lot of light being put on the screen at the high end, so at the hundred around the hundred percent, uh, the white level, um, but there was not a lot of uh, energy uh, down at the lower end, at the black levels. So it was sort of the opposite to what you'd think, in in the sense of what a lot of people think you need from HDR. So uh, once we got the EOTF curve sorted out, we ended up pushing up the the levels at the lower end and actually reducing the levels at the higher end, which meant that we got a lot of detail for example, in clouds and the lighter scenes, um, but we also picked up a lot of detail um, in, in, in dark scenes that we hadn't seen before. So, uh, yeah. and I think the standout one was probably Terminator Genesis, yeah. Um, yeah, where you know, we watched the scene as it sort of moves into the, the encampment and um, Aaron immediately said, oh, I didn't even know there was a car there. I didn't know there was a plane there. And, and so we're seeing a lot of stuff. So I, I guess in terms of your thoughts on, you know, spending money on equipment and spending money on calibration. Um, what's your opinion on that now? Well, um, I said it earlier before. I yeah. said, you know, if you buy a projector that's, you know, $5,000 mm. and then the next model up's $7,500, mm. as I said before, after this, you're better off to buy the $5,000 one 
and pay for that calibration mm. and have a better picture. Yeah. Um, I just, I'm just thrilled with the picture that I've got. No, it's great. So. Thanks, mate. So, uh, yeah, look, it, 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 it's always good. I mean, I, I've got to say, still, it's nerve-wracking when you do a calibration. You never know quite how it's going to work out. And um, uh, Aaron, bless his heart, put a post on Facebook last night saying, you know, I'm ready for the calibration. And he'd already yeah. seen the one I'd done the night before, which set a bit of a benchmark yes. in terms yeah. of clarity and so it's like, well, no pressure there. Thanks yes, very much. Right. But uh, look, it, it's been really good. I'm very, very happy with the outcome. We've got tons and tons of detail. We've looked at, what have we watched? We've watched Terminator Genesis. We've watched yep. a bit of Blade Runner 24. Now we've watched yep. Passengers, uh, yeah. Batman versus, versus Superman. Superman. And um, all of them have been sort of standouts. And we've both been sitting here going, wow, look at the details. So yeah. Um, uh, thanks for checking in. I really appreciate you inviting me all the yep. way over here. It's yep. a lot of faith to get someone over yeah. from West Australia to, to calibrate the system, but uh, I'm very I, grateful. I even you question here. with you know, my wife, am I doing the right thing? Mm. You know, um, you know, it's not a, a lot of money in the scheme of things, mm. but it, it's you know, it's still money. Yeah, it's still so, money. Yep. And you know, my wife, oh, you know, is it really worth it? It's going to be that much more than you do, and I, I can't wait to show her. She'll, she'll be amazed. That's great. So thank you, folks. Um, once again, thanks for tuning into Home Theatre Engineering, and hopefully, um, you know, we can help other people out with with their home theatres and uh, get some good results for them too. Cheers. Bye bye. Thank you.